All right, so if you didn't know, I've just hit 50 subscribers. So for that milestone, I've decided to do a draw my life. And yes, I know I cannot draw at all. Anyway, so my journey started in 1998 and I was born in the south of England. Now, I don't remember my preschool years that well. However, I know that my mum and dad separated when I was probably around two years old. So I grew up with my mum, my sister and my brother. I was the youngest child by about six years, so I'm actually kind of lucky to be born. Now, the only memory that I have is when I was like really, really young and my mum and dad were downstairs in our old house and they were talking and I was upstairs in my little cot. Now, the cot had like a railing on it so I couldn't get out, but I really wanted to see my dad. So me being probably about two years old, thought it'd be a really good idea to climb over that railing. And obviously that was a pretty terrible idea because when I jumped over, I landed directly on my face. The only thing I remember is just crying and crying in so much pain, but you know, it didn't do any damage to me. It's just funny now. Other than that, you know, I can't really think of too many other memories I had before I even went to school. But from the earliest that I can remember, I remember that as I was growing up, I came more and more aware that, you know, that the area that I lived in, it was, it was really poor. My family really didn't have a lot of money, you know, we were struggling to get by. However, that never stopped us from being happy. We was always a happy family. However, I remember one day, our lives changed. My mum got a phone call, which was offering to give us this opportunity to move to a bigger, better house in just such a better location. It was amazing because we moved from a really broke city type area to this beautiful town that had a castle, had a cathedral. It was great. I remember as a kid, it was... It's amazing. And honestly, moving to this town was the best thing that ever happened to my family. It was great for me because back in the old place, I couldn't play outside because the area was just full of like, drug dealers and stuff. So in this new town we moved in, this was, if, you know, we were safe. And what made it even better is literally on the first day, within a couple minutes, I already made friends with the kids that were on the road. Now this was surprising to me because, you know, I was an introvert. I never had that chance to socialize with the kids in the area because, well, we just, we wasn't allowed out. It was just too risky. So when they first came up to me, you know, I was so scared. I'd never met any new people before. However, I just became again, just extremely lucky. I met this kid that was the same age as me and he was even going to the same school that I was going to. Now this kid, he introduced me to these two guys. Now they were older than us, but they also lived on our road. I think they were like three or four years older than us. But this was great for me because they taught me how to be more confident in myself. And in a way, they kind of brought me up, you know, they helped me grow up quicker. I ended up maturing, you know, a lot faster than a lot of the people in my year at school. Now I have so many school memories, but you know, I'm not gonna go through them because they deserve their own separate video. But what I will tell you now is, I got good grades in school. Now school was great. I never had any issues, but the thing that I mostly remember about my childhood was not school, it was what I did after school. Now with this new friendship group that I made, we did everything together. We played football, we played video games, like we used to play Call of Duty, World at War, Zombies. We used to go around each other's houses and like play on all these different games. They taught me how to do like rollerblading, BMXing, scootering, like skate parks and stuff, and even like going into the woods and building bases and stuff and playing with airsoft guns. The list just went on. And honestly, when I look back at them days, I, I kind of get emotional because I can say like, I'd say confidently that my childhood was absolutely amazing. It was perfect. There was nothing wrong with it. I was so lucky because if I lived in the old house, I probably would have had a terrible childhood just stuck indoors. But this group of friends, they changed my life. They really did. Now, when high school came along, I did go to the same high school as the older guys that I knew. But they were only there for a year before they left. And obviously they went to college and that, so I didn't really see them that much after that. So once they left, you know, I was getting older. And when the puberty hit me, I just went introverted again. Now don't get me wrong, you know, I did make a few friends in my classes. But I wasn't what you say popular but because i was an introvert i ended up becoming friends with you know kind of the smart kids oh it was them they were the guys they introduced me to youtube and minecraft and playing stuff like call of duty online they showed me all the cool nerdy stuff which i never saw as a kid because i was always out playing football or something like that but little did i know i was so lucky to become friends with these people because funnily enough of all the people i met through my school life those guys they're the only people that are still my friends to this day. And because of them, 
I loved high school. You know, high school was really easy. I got amazing grades and I had just genuinely an amazing experience there. I honestly can't say a single bad thing about my high school experience. It was brilliant. But I can say bad things about my college experience. Now when I left school, you know, I thought because that was easy, surely A-levels would be easy because they're kind of the same thing. And obviously I was wrong, but you know, it was a good experience, I guess. I did end up making some new friends. I ended up having, you know, a couple friendship groups, but as a whole, college was so bad for me. I absolutely hated it. It was just too difficult for me. I just wasn't interested at all. There was nothing rewarding about going to college, but the worst part about it is my family, they pressured me to stay. But at the end of the day, I hated it and I couldn't do it. So I ended up dropping out after my first year. I didn't have to, like I got the grades to carry on, but it was just making me so depressed. Even though I left the college at this point, I still felt really down. My only distraction was something that I did as a kid. I went back to scooter riding, probably something I shouldn't admit, but that's the truth. I wanted to become a professional scooter rider. I'd ride about six to seven hours every single day. You know, I was progressing at an okay rate, but it didn't matter how much better I got at that sport, it wasn't helping my head at all. There was always that thing in the back of my head where I thought I'd really let my family down, you know, dropping out of college. And, you know, I don't like admitting this, but this is where I was so down that I ended up becoming an alcoholic. I wasn't like some crazy binge drinker, but like every single evening or whenever I could get my hands on it, I would drink a whole crate of Budweiser and just cry alone in my bedroom. I honestly felt completely and utterly useless. But eventually I was just like, no mate, get up, all right? You've got to sort your life out. I decided to get my first proper job and I got the easiest job in the world. I got a job at a trampoline park. And even to this day, I still have such positive memories about that place. It was truly the best experience of my life working there. It, it really was. And again, like school, I won't go into too much detail because I could definitely make a video talking about that job because it had so many stories. But anyway, what I will tell you, I met my first girlfriend there. Now, unfortunately, due to a lot of complications, I, ha I had to leave. I didn't want to leave the job, but I just couldn't stay there any longer. But when I left, I ended up finding a job, which is, it's the job that I do now. I'm basically like cleaning out construction sites so that workers can just carry on working. It's definitely not what I want to do for the rest of my life, but at the moment, it's paying my bills and it's allowing me to create videos, which is all that matters and it's the only reason why I do it. The thing I do want to do is YouTube. I started this channel because it helps you just forget about normal life. You know, like the normal things that you have to deal with. It helps me forget about all the problems that I actually have, all the constant worries. I've always loved YouTube. You know, as a kid, I always watched it. I've always wanted to be a part of YouTube because it's, it's an amazing platform. Now, that day I left college, I took a big risk. I took a risk to better my life. And although I'm not making money from YouTube, you know, that's not the main point. That's not the reason I do this. The reason I do this is because it makes me happy. I was told when I left college I'd never be successful. But what is success anyway? In my eyes, happiness is success. And that's exactly what I found with this channel. So all I've got to say is thank you for watching my videos. Honestly, it, it means everything to me. So again, thank you so much. On that note, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.